Welcome back everybody to yet another me to you video and you just went out and bought your child a nice new controller and now you need to know how to connect your Xbox One controller to your Xbox console. Well in this video I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do that. Okay, let's jump right over to the console and let's get your controllers connected right now. The first way you're going to set up your controller is the wireless option. So the first thing you'll need to do is turn on your console. Then you will need to turn on your new controller by pressing the Xbox or also known as the home button on the controller. When you first do this, you should notice that it's flashing kind of slowly and just kind of be blinking off and on. This means that your controller is not connected to your current console. The next step you want to do is press the sync button on the console. Again, you'll notice on the Xbox now that the Xbox light is flashing really fast. After you press that button, you'll want to press the sync button on your controller. And again, you'll notice that the light is now flashing quickly instead of slowly. After a few seconds, you should notice that your Xbox controller has connected to your console. You'll notice this by the fact that the Xbox console and the Xbox controller lights is no longer flashing and should just be a solid light. If you found this tutorial helpful, then please make sure you hit the like button and also don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, so let's go back over to the Xbox console to go over the second method of connecting your controller to the console. Now, the first thing that you will need is a micro USB cable. You'll need to plug the micro side into the controller and then plug the other side into the Xbox One console. You should now see that the controller home button is a solid light. If this is the case, your Xbox One controller is now connected to the console and you are ready to go and you may remove the cables from either side. Now you can test whether your Xbox One controller is actually connected uh, by simply just trying to move anywhere within the Xbox One home screen. Now, if you would like to get some more value out of that new controller that you just purchased and you or your child is a mobile gamer, uh, then make sure you check out this card right here where I show you how to connect your new controller to an iPhone or an iPad. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.